A new study suggests that the average man exaggerates the length of their penis by more than 20%. But aren't you supposed to add 20% for tip? <laughs> NASA has named the four astronauts it will send on the Artemis II mission to the moon. And if things go wrong, I think I know who's dying first. <laughs> oh, he can do the Hitler salute. <laughs> Two 81-year-old women have traveled the world in 80 days after the post office lost their ashes. <laughs> A woman who's been traveling the world says she's gone on 34 first dates in nearly 20 countries. Her secret? She's being sex trafficked. <laughs> As this year's award season gets underway, there's growing movement to get rid of the gendered categories of best actor and best actress and instead call them best actor and best actor who got paid less. <laughs> An 89-year-old Japanese man has been recognized as the oldest male surfer ever. He truly embodies the surfing lifestyle because every part of his body hangs loose. In a new documentary, Pope Francis praises the virtues of sex, calling it one of the beautiful things that God has given to the human person. <laughs> Not the way I do it. <laughs> A group of hikers in Great Britain had to be rescued when they got lost after taking psychedelic mushrooms. More embarrassing, they never actually left the house. A deep sea diver has announced plans to set a new record by living underwater for 100 days. I feel like the record is longer than that, said the people of New Orleans. <laughs> The National Brotherhood of Skiers is pushing for greater representation of black people in winter sports, which are predominantly white. Huh, so it seems like someone's a little jealous that we took their precious dunk contest. <laughs> President Biden is trying to downplay the recent leak of classified U.S. documents that were posted on social media, because when you're over 80, a couple of leaks is nothing to be embarrassed about. <laughs> Doctors in Nepal saved a man after he inserted a water glass into his rectum for sexual gratification and it got stuck. But I think the man actually felt positive about the experience because he said the glass was half full. After his arraignment, Donald Trump spoke to supporters at Mar-a-Lago and said there was a very dark cloud over our beloved country, which is also what he used to call Obama. <laughs> And police in Australia arrested a man after he was caught at a bus stop masturbating for over an hour. Australia, where the police let you finish. It was announced that Puerto Rico's only zoo is closing after years of alleged animal neglect. Worse, the zoo is closing. It's being advertised as all you can eat. <laughs> Newspapers around the country dropped the, car the cartoon strip Dilbert after creator Scott Adams said he chose to live in a community where no black people live. So he lives in your building, huh, Colin? <laughs> The publisher of Roald Dahl's books announced that they're altering some of his insensitive language like the words fat and ugly, as well as modernizing his portrayal of women, which will mostly affect Dahl's beloved children's classic, The Fat Ugly Wife Who Knew Her Place. <laughs> A Jeopardy contestant this week was forced to quit social media after people said his mustache looks like Hitler's. The contestant said he's so mad that he's had it up to here. <laughs> Cup Noodles has introduced a new breakfast version of their instant ramen that mixes the flavors of sausage, maple syrup, pancakes, and eggs. The flavor will be called Mom Left. <laughs> the New York City Department of Sanitation has launched its first campaign in 15 years with messages such as, if you litter, you're garbage, which is actually dialed back from the original version. Your litter belongs in the trash next to your whore wife. <laughs> The NBA slam dunk contest was won by Mac McClung, a six foot two white man who has only appeared in two NBA games, which is just a terrible way to end Black History Month. <laughs>
A new study Stop finds it. that the average child throws a tantrum four times a week. Weeknights on Fox. <laughs> After a judge's ruling left access to abortion pills uncertain, some state officials are stockpiling them just in case. Officials like California Governor Gavin Newsom, Massachusetts Governor Maura Healey, and New York comedian Michael Che. <laughs> a man in Florida said he was surprised when he heard a knock at the door and it turned out to be an alligator. Even more surprising, it was doing the thing from Love Actually. <laughs> A proposed bill in California would create an alert system for missing black women and kids. This is in addition to the alert system for missing white women and kids, the news. <laughs> A school official in Illinois has been arrested on charges of stealing over $1 million worth of chicken wings. Said the official, I swear, I was going to give all the money back. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> Officials in Berlin announced that women will now be allowed to go topless at the city's pools. But officials also said to be aware, it's not going to be the ones you want. <laughs> there is a trend on TikTok of people eating oranges in showers, claiming that it reduces stress and anxiety. But if you're comfortable filming yourself eating in the shower, I would argue you don't have enough anxiety. <laughs> A new study finds that married men live a longer, healthier life. Yeah, but for what? <laughs> Apple has launched a new feature called Pay Later that lets users spread out payments for apps over the course of six weeks. And this has also launched my new favorite insult, Yo Mama's so poor she put Candy Crush on layaway. <laughs> Earlier today, an American fighter jet shot down a suspected Chinese surveillance balloon that had been spotting crossing the United States, officially ending history's most complicated gender reveal party. <laughs> And bad news for China, it's a girl. <laughs> Due to a computer error, a school in Massachusetts has been unable to turn off its lights for over a year and a half. The students are doing fine, but the classroom hamster has gone insane. <laughs> <laughs> Disney World is closing Splash Mountain to turn it into Tiana's Bayou Adventure after complaints that its Song of the South theme was racist. Okay, but where's the outrage about Disney forcing a mentally challenged dwarf to mine blood diamonds? <laughs> Senator Rick Scott, seen here learning that Harry Potter has fallen into his trap, <laughs> announced that he is running for re-election, promising to finish the border wall and name it after Donald Trump even though most things named after Donald Trump are complete failures. <laughs> Police officials in Colorado say that a bear discovered a wildlife camera in the woods and posed for more than 400 selfies. 400 selfies of a bear is also known as a grinder profile. <laughs> An Arizona woman was arrested after she allegedly went day drinking while her five-month-old child was sitting home alone, like a loser. <laughs> Researchers say the number of gray whales off Western North America has continued to decline for several years. It's a sad fact that makes me wonder if whale oil is really the best way to give my hair this amazing volume. <laughs> Biologists in Florida are warning that the Jesus Christ lizard, named for its ability to run on water, could spread harmful diseases to humans. They hope to control the population by introducing a punctious pilot lizard. <laughs> According to a new report, by 2035, more than half of the world's population will be just how I like them. <laughs> British officials have unveiled King Charles III's new royal monogram. The C stands for Charles, the R is for Rex, and the three is for how many hundreds of yards Prince Andrew has to stay away from schools. <laughs> The house, the house where Lizzie Borden murdered her parents has been sold for $2 million and will be turned into a bed and breakfast. Though a bed and breakfast where a murder happened is pretty much just a day's in. <laughs>